This has always been an awful thing for me to have to look at myself in the camera this close and deal with it. Although the selfie, when you're on like an extreme close-up, dude, it's better than seeing my whole body, trust me. I don't even like seeing myself naked when I get out of the shower. I'm gonna spin around. There's some of my friends up there. This place is one colorful joint, man. How'd you like to have that on your front lawn? This is the garage, otherwise known as the shop. So here is the shop. There's some beers, and there's Aaron. That's one of the dudes that was just working up at the uh, barn. So there's a difference. Chris doesn't like it. You know, you gotta get, you gotta get the terminology and the nomenclature right. This is the garage. There's the barn. There's the shop, actually. The real shop is the dilapidated structure out, right outside his house. And then you've got this gorgeous hunk, Aaron. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's true. It's true. Yeah. What, uh, what are you guys up to today? You're looking at it, man. Don't, don't say anything that you don't want to be on the internet. <laughs> uh, no, you're looking at it. Okay, now I'm heading up to the barn. Say goodbye to the garage. This is one of Chris's house that he uh, rents out to a tenant. Chris's beloved Jeep. He went all the way down to Georgia to purchase. It is a Jeep Scrambler, an 83, and it's diesel. There's a satchel. Let me tell you what, some goodies in there. This is the wood pile. Since it's getting close to winter, he's going to want to split wood because he has this like wood stove outside that keeps the whole damn house warm and there's no need to run oil. Let me show you that real quick. I'm not going to untarp it. That is his log splitter. It's new. I think it's an English unit. Finally, the barn. All right, guys. Not much. Just wanted to show everybody around, see what's what. I'm sure he's more fun than fucking. So now that I have um, exposed myself, see it's, it's Friday and I was out all morning, I was at my father's actually. Currently I live in Boyertown and he's in Phoenixville so it's like 40 minutes away. Anyway I was there all day, or all morning rather, and now that I'm back, um, these guys are all working and I feel really guilty so I said that I would go you know, next door to where I live put the camera away and put my work boots on and come back down and help which was a really fucking stupid thing to do because I don't want to help I don't want to work I'm lazy I'll admit it I'm not going to tell you about my physical ailments because then I'll look like I'm copping out I'll give them a hand now they're doing real manly stuff which I don't know anything about like fixing Chris's scrambler I'll show you Goes up to the fucking power. 